Testing, testing, can you hear me? Hello, 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 Jessica. Checking in, make sure your safety line is fastened and in good condition. Thank you. Thank you for the check-in. So test, test. Audio check is good. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Okay, uh-huh, yep, okay, we are good, we are good, we are good, right. Then, okay, so, Galano, we're back here after, uh, several sessions of playing around at the Overflow Station. Um, we are going to do today is we are going to finish doing our rough-in of the bridges, at least for the outside area. And then I'm going to see about um, designing some new objects for the age. Um, things that we will eventually be putting in here. They're not here yet, but we will put them in here eventually. We're going to start by selecting our bridge here, this default, default bridge, okay. and we are just gonna start by <sighs> duplicating it. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna... First, we're going to rotate it so it's on the x-axis, and then we're going to stretch it a bit. Okay. Hmm. No, actually, we're going to rotate that. Rotate that back to our x-alignment. And then I'm going to rotate it on the Y so we get a bit of an angle. And then I'm going to rotate it on the Z axis. Hmm, I may have made that a little too long. Hmm. Anyway, so these bridges are more of the, the, the metal grating type where the rain will fall through them. Yes, it's a very twist, it's a maze of twisty little passages, and, uh, Nara gliders remove the need for trusses. <laughs> well, I may put more supports in, but for the moment, I'm just roughing this all together. For starters, okay, that end is looking pretty good, this end is not, so I'm gonna shrink that ever so slightly, and then, and that's not at a good angle, I'm gonna adjust it like so, yep, and then I'm just gonna rotate it generally a bit more, there we go, okay, so, A, rotation and scale, that'll fix things up nicely, <clears throat> or not, considering that barely lines up now. Hmm. Yep. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Control A, rotation and scale. Now we're gonna have to do the hard part of making sure um that our ends here basically line up with um, the 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 ground we got to make sure our got to make sure our bits of ground are all lined up
I'm going to pull that forward and stretch it down a bit. Okay. I'm going to take this and then we're just going to bring that dip. Let's see, where are our edges here? Right. Okay. Yep, that's kind of screwy. I'm going to have to bring the alignment back in like so. No, that's squared off. Okay, so yeah, we need to make sure our ramp here, for starters, is all nicely lined up. Then we also have to make sure that we don't have a trip hazard, so we're going to strew those down. Make a face there, make a face there. This is all probably unnecessary geometry, but I would rather have it than not. That end is probably all nice and cozy. I'm going to come over to this end. Okay. Let's start with the actual physical. Okay, start with all this first. We're going to have to do some fancy building out to really finish this out, but... No, that extrusion doesn't work. Okay, right, I need to start with you and you, and then extrude you out, scale you back, yep, okay. Goal here is basically just going to be to try to build out as um, much of this bridge section as I can and we're just gonna try and make it look as nice as possible because yeah it's going to be uh Yeah, we're going to have gaps in the back, and those are probably going to be very noticeable if we just leave them be. What material is that? Shadeless. Go back to this view material. Ooh, no, you need to be the concrete. There we go. that bit. I need to do you. Do you. No, I don't want to mess with you. Set. Oh. Yeah. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do for the moment. Okay, there we go. Do that shapeless. There we go. So now we have something of a anchored looking thing. Um, probably not the greatest. Ah. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead and work on other things. I'm just going to be chatty, chatty, chatty. Okay, so now I'm going to go to our, our ramp blocker here. Ah, see, that's one thing that I now need to adjust. 
no, I just want to select this front one because that's gonna need to be a little more ramped forward because otherwise it's just gonna look like a step and that's an awkward thing to have in this situation right now. Okay. And now we have the lovely uh, situation of trying to make this bit of geometry now match the new bit of geometry we've just made. like And I'm just going to extrude that face down. And then pull it out so that way it's doing that. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Now I need to come over here. And then I'm just going to basically do the exact same thing. Pull you back, pull you out. down, okay, pulling that up, and then extrude straight down. And now we've got that bit of bridge work in. Yay. I uh, probably need to do some fill-in back here, but I'm going to yeah, this is just still the roughing in phase of things. Uh, but we are close-ish, I believe. Now comes what's probably going to be trickiest. Okay, I've got, I'm gonna snipe this narrower bridge that I made over here. Because I really don't want to have to rework all that geometry again. I mean, I'm still gonna rework it, but I don't want to... I'm just gonna borrow this copy of the bridge. Because I am kind of silly like that. But as you can see, it's almost pretty much already at the right angle that I need. I'm just going to stretch it out on the... Hmm, hold on. Now, this is the tricky part where this angle is just gonna yoink. Yeah, that, well, that actually works pretty well. Almost. <laughs> Look at how that just kind of goes off the edge like that. Okay, before I do anything further with that, I'm gonna modify this structure just a bit. Because I don't like how that's just really hanging off the edge there. I'm going to tri triangulate this. And then I'm just going to select all of these faces. Yep, okay. 
And now I'm going to drag it out a bit to give this finger a little more definition. Yeah, let's just call that more definition. Grab these bits and drag them out a bit that way. Okay. It looks a little more. Oh, it's a little more better. While I'm on it. Woo! That's way too far of a zoom. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, while I'm at it, I'm going to come to this. gonna do knife and then I'm just gonna triangulate that again give that just a little bit of extra extra definition there. I'm gonna select this bit, pull it outwards. It's starting to clip a little, so I'm gonna pull it downwards. Yeah, that'll do. Now what happened to the face up here? Let's just grab all of you, unwrap, and scale it out. Yeah, rotate that so it's a little more in generic alignment. Yeah, there we go. Right then, back to the bridge. Yeah. I'm gonna select this. We're gonna select this. Pertis, and we're just gonna drag these down to meet. I'm gonna do line. Nope, line. Line. Face. And then that face is going to be unwrapped. Yeah. I'm going to come to this bit here, stagger that forward, pull it downwards. rotate that on my z-axis a bit. My whole thing feels a little... Nope. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay. Now back to the collision here. Tap. Okay. Pull that up. line up, okay, now I'm going to select these lines, straighten them out, give that a bit more of a ramp, Bridge here. I'm gonna just extrude that forward down and give us a bit more of a natural looking ramp. Set. 
ど Scale outward, then we're going to scale those upwards a bit. We're going to give all of these bridges a little more of a unique vibe to them. If you catch my meaning, we're just going to be, yeah, we're just going to give our bridges here a little. Um, we're going to give each one their own sort of distinct feeling. And it's absolutely not just because uh, I am totally being inconsistent with my models here. Which, actually, I think you probably all know by now. I am actually just being inconsistent with my models here. <laughs> That's fine. That is fine. We will we will sort it out later. But if I have the space, I might as well use it, you know. Cube project. I may need to give that a different texture later. do for now it will do for now let's come back over here now because this end is decidedly not lining up with anything properly oh boy okay um so yeah we're gonna have to do a lot more heavy customization on this part of it because it's not Hey, hold on a second. My, my bridges have doubled up textures this entire... Wait a second. Wait a second. Back face. That's why I had that like that. Okay. 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 Price is averted. Okay. Boink. Boink. Ah, you're part of the bridge. Okay, so I gotta pull you. Yeah, back face calling. I gotta pull you down under here. There we go. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, that makes so much sense. Boop. And and now I'm going to pull you down to about here. Okay. Goes out. Yeah, okay. That'll do for the moment. Okay, now I gotta come to this. Ugh, and this is where we have to be exceedingly careful with everything to get it to all line up. Okay. Come on. Okay, that's gotta line up like 
that. Okay. Get that like that. Get this and squeeze it down into the dirt. Okay. A rotation and scale. Okay. Okay, so now we are one, two, three, four bridges in. Yeah, we're about four bridges in. Prad over on uh oh Shora Tao! Yes, Blender, yes, hello. Um, yeah, short. How we are working on one of my pro Blender projects. And hello, you I won't. Um, over on Discord, Prad mentioned, asks, is that a lava cave? If so, we also need more monster quabs for the action scenes. Um, then mentioning the drama of the geometry liking, the geometry of it. Um, natural phenomenons can create extreme but fascinating structures. And then, and then remarking on how... I'm doing the, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely re redo the UV mapping on the catwalk models, um, giant quabs. Um, to answer Prad's first question, uh, are these lava tubes? Um, no, these are not lava tubes. What these are are giant tunnels that have been carved out by frequent rainfall. Basically, this whole um, network of tunnels that you see here basically comes about due to frequent water getting into places. It really, uh, like, it, like, if you look here where we have one of our um, exits cutting out here, um, you'll notice we have a big giant um big giant thing here that's clipping up to the uh top of the cliffs that's basically just where all this rainwater can keeps coming in and then it keeps flooding down and then flooding out into other areas so basically all of the um the tunneling shapes that we're seeing here is basically the the result of a lot of controlled erosion, basically all of the, the open areas that were eroded away were of a much softer material that basically got pushed away over time. And what's left is harder rock that is more resistant to the water. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so what we're doing here is building a world that has these this this natural end result of water erosion. Now, comes for the last bridge, which is probably honestly going to be the trickiest. If we look here, we've got this gap. Um, hold on, that might be easier to see like this. We've got this gap here to cover. Um, yeah. Um, so, if I want this to be straight on... The problem becomes... If I want this to be straight on with the other bridge, I need it to connect to this structure, this this ground-based structure, in a place where I have this nice little sudden slant downwards. And while I can certainly extrude that outwards, I've had a I just had a brainwave on this. That would make this particular section interesting and challenging. And some people are probably not going to like it, but what we are going to do, do here... Did I get the... No, I did not get the collision box. There we go. Now I've got the collision box. What we're going to do here is... Uh, 
duplicate this. No. Rotate on the Y axis to get this mostly level. And then Okay. You can probably see what I'm going to be doing here. And what I'm going to be doing here here is um <laughs> Um, yeah, we are, uh, we are going to be, uh, deleting the end of this bridge. We're just gonna, yep, yeah, we're just gonna delete the end of this bridge. And we're just gonna we're just gonna repeat that over here, basically. We're just gonna select these faces, call them off. And now before I do anything else to modify the end of this bridge, we're gonna have to go in world and make sure that this is jumpable. Gonna test our age, get it all loaded up. Later, Jessica. So yeah, the this whole place has been, you know, very flooded and over a long period of time. And to me, it makes little sense that every single bridge would be perfectly intact after all of these centuries. So what we've got here is a bridge that has been very much destroyed by the natural um, erosion over time. So, yeah. We're going to wind up here. I'll age in a moment. Once it finishes loading. And... Okay, we're in the age again. Okay. I'm gonna fly mode up to our one of our bridges here, which is one of the original ones. Just so that way I can find where the other one is. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this age is very foggy. I've not put in the rain yet. Um, yeah, so here we are up here. And we're gonna test all of our bridges real quick. Okay. Running along this bridge. We're working backwards from the path we ought to be working backward, that we ought to be walking on. Um, basically these bridges are, yeah, these, these bridges are just going off into the fog and we're walking on them backwards at this moment to make it, ooh, you gotta love how you can't really see the bridge until it suddenly, ooh. yeah, you know what, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do a little more geometry stuff work up here on these tops of the spires to make where the bridges walk into it a little more natural than they are. Yeah, that's just... This just looks a little weird just to have the big old anchor block. Okay, but here's our final intact bridge. Going down the bridge, going down the bridge. Man, this is a long bridge. Okay. Now then, there's the other end of it. Fly mode over here to the end of this cliff. Okay. 
Okay. So, the main thing that I need to figure out here is, is this gap going to be jumpable? From this distance? Or am I going to need to extend the edge of this bridge? That is my main, main concern at the moment. Okay. Here we go. Nope. Too short, too short, too short. Too, too short. Okay. So. That means I'm going to have to do one of two things. And I think I'm going to start with the easiest. And that's just... Okay, just grabbing that whole section there, stretching it out, stretching it out. And then I'm gonna sink it downwards a bit more. Sink it downwards a bit more. Okay. And then I'm just going to grab this section out here, pull that down. Actually, no, I'm just going to grab this whole section here. I'm just going to extrude it out. This will probably involve more geometry work later, but I want to give players a fighting chance to get on this thing without falling to their dooms. We're going to then extrude this section. Nope. Bring that down. Really bring that down. Then I'm gonna ease. No, 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 no. I wait until I do this. And then I'll extrude it like that. And then I'll grab these, pull it out. These, and pull them out a bit. Have it kind of this. That's a little too harshly angular, so we're gonna pull, no, pull this in, and pull it down, pull that down. Okay. Triangulate. Oop. Yep, that's still harsher of an angle than I'd like that to be, so let's grab that. Question is, am I going to, yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna extrude that, scale it down, and then boop, boop, delete faces, there we go. Now we've got sort of a, sort of a, sort of a strangest shape here. And I'm going to have to do this for all the other little rock islands. Eventually, because they are kind of a bit too narrow for my liking. Sure, off, Ace Cat. Um, Garano. Um, Garano. I'm guessing that's uh, something related to um, a big giant lake by the name 
that any of it? Garo, Anno, giant water, great water, a lake or something? Lake or an ocean? Bridge, follow along our bridge. Nope. 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 Okay. Now then, will this jump work? Huh. Oh! Just barely. We just barely make that. I am going to take that as a win. That is going to be one of those, I don't know if that's going to work moments, and I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Now that I have that, I'm going to come back to this. Our bridge. So, got our two plates here. I'm going to select everything. Knife. Actually, hold on. I'm. Let me just make sure real quick. Uh, motion display. Where's back face calling? Where's back face calling? Backface going. There we go. I'm just gonna... I don't think... For the moment, I'm just gonna delete those faces. And that'll make this a lot easier. Material. Okay. So. Jumping point is about here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna... I'm just going to start, um, just going to start doing this a bit. We're going to mess up this grate and go back to material. Okay. So we're got this bit here, then we're going to try to follow our texture as best as we can. Okay. Okay. Now then. This is our jumping point-ish. Okay, so I'm going to start with getting rid of that notch there. And then, yeah, get rid of that, get rid of you, you, uh, yeah, you know what, that can stay, I think. This point, we're gonna bend that down. Take these points, we're gonna bend them down. Take this point, we're gonna bend it down. Take this point, gonna bend it down. And this point, we're gonna bend that down as well. Yeah, okay. So, you know what? I'm gonna get this is our. Proxy collision. Is this parented to anything? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm just gonna disable this object. Okay. Now then.
I'm going to select just this bit here. casually break it like so and then if I grab that and bend it down actually if I pull it back and bend it way down Now, what we have here is going to be a whole mess of horribly bent out of shape metal. That's another thing I'm going to have to fix, evidently, is missing faces there. There we go. So, yeah, now that we have this, I'm going to give this piece collision, terrain, blocks dynamics, and then we're going to go to our bridge, and then we're going to give this collision, terrain, blocks dynamic. Okay, so now our actual bridge piece here has this stuff, but now we've got the problem of it being... <sighs> yeah, it's got that problem where we can now see through the bottom of it. But that won't be a problem for long, because we're going to grab all of this. Yeah, there we go. We're going to duplicate it. We're going to pull it down. We're going to flip the direction of our faces. We're going to pull it back up, then we're going to set that off to its own little object, and we're going to get rid of the collision, because we don't need collision on the bottom of the thing. Now we'll pull this up, get it. Okay, 3D cursor, get that basically as Close to that as we possibly can. There we go. Yay! We now have our broken bridge. And then to convey that this thing got really broken up where the bridge should have been. I'm gonna that. And then I'm gonna pull that in, pull that down. That hopefully won't screw up my attempt to get people on there. I may have just been too clever for my own good, but we will see. Leave it 
idea here is to convey the impression that, oh yeah, this thing totally broke. Okay. And if I'm wrong about what I just did, I can always easily undo that. Ah! Prad remarks, yes, water hell makes sense in context of the age and very realistic to real caves where rainfalls on the surface can pose a danger to the cave. Great insights on how I probably did the neighbory skydiving jumps. Yes, um, there was a lot of back and forth in neighbory where I was designing the, uh, the jumping back and forth for, let me just say there was a lot of back and forth when it came to Edder Nabry and getting everything right in that regard. Okay. Now, if I've done everything correctly, collision, 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 oh boy, that almost took me right off the edge. I'm going to need to rough up the edges a bit more, clean up some of this uh, individual vertex bits here. Okay. That feels believable. Cause it's ooh. Yeah, I really need to work on my proxy collisions better. Yeah, that that's that's a believable jump, and it's not a uh, maintainer age without some death defying leap. It's a leap of faith to try and figure out some of these things out. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Collision cookies. <laughs> okay. So. That little jump works. Now then, for the obvious part of why is it still so straight out there if it, uh, well, yeah. Moment, that is going to remain a pretty good mystery. Um, what I'm going to do is, um, moment i'm just gonna say that is good enough for that section we're gonna go back to this section ah no i already did the sub control t i need to subdivide it yeah there we go boop boop yeah okay we're gonna pull boop. that section out pull it down we're gonna pull this section out and this section out and I'm gonna pull this section in pull this section in and down and then we're gonna Middle here. Yeah, that's good enough for a random shape. Pull that downwards as well. There's my phone buzzing me with nothing important. Hey. Okay. 
We need to square out this backside though. I'll pull that out. Give it a wider base because it's still a little too square. I'm gonna do that. out, pull this out, pull it out, pull it out. Okay. And now we have an issue where two of our meshes are meeting in an awkward way. I'm gonna grab this bit here, pull it out, and pull it inward like that. Yeah. That'll do. Okay. Now that should be hypothetically swimmable from the ground level. Hypothetically swimmable. Very hypothetically. I am not going to test that just yet. pretty good so this looks like uh this looks a lot more like a big giant ah, i just realized there's a potential problem here where people might be able to climb that so i'm gonna pull that face in then i'm gonna pull this face in give it a little more of a steep edge A little bit more of a steep edge to it. So I don't want people actually climbing this to. Ooh, hold on. Ooh, that's a bit too tight of an angle. Let's do it like that. Okay, if anyone can actually climb this surface like this, then they deserve to get it, I think. It's pr that's pretty, uh... I think that's pretty unforgiving. For climbing, at least. Let's drag that up and out a bit. And Yeah, okay, that'll do. That'll do for the moment. That'll keep people from, uh... That, that should keep people from being able to climb up it, I f would hope. But we shall see if I got any of that collisioning right. Okay. Tools subdivide. Select the right thing. There we go. Okay. Grab this section here. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it down. I'll give it a little bit of a random bit of geometry there. Boop, 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 boop. that out. And then just so that we can say that we're thinking about wall huggers, I'm going to pull this, pull this, pull that. Yeah, 
That'll give people something to worry about. What's going on here? Let's... Oh. Yep. That's what I thought. Getting some weird faces going on here. I have no idea if anybody's going to be able to land on it from that height, but I'm going to give people who slip and fall a slight fighting chance of being able to... Oh, to survive that kind of fall from the top of it if they are not careful and they fall. bits. We'll pull that out. Yeah. Grab those. That and you know what? I just thought delete face. There we go. Now we've got a uh, we got two of these things intersecting a bit. Just so people don't get any bright ideas about trying to climb this thing. Although I'm sure people will absolutely try. But yeah, if, if people can get up on this thing, they just if they can figure out how to climb this thing, then they probably deserve to be up there, I think. But yeah, so. Our poor wall huggers here are not going to have much of an easy time getting through this section, that's for certain. just grab these faces and delete them. Yep, that works. Do I need these? I'm just going to lift it up just in case I do. Nope, that wasn't the right one. That one. And if I do that. Yeah, 
That'll do. That will do. Okay, so, yeah. Got a couple of things here. And then, yep. <sighs> tab. Come on. Tab. A. There we go. Now we're going to subdivide it. Because I really don't want wall huggers finding this too easily. We're gonna grab that. Stretch that forward. Stretch that. I'm just gonna squish that into the wall there. There. Okay. Wonderful. Nobody seeing that face at all. I can get rid of it. Where's that face calling here? Let's cut in here. We're gonna switch over to the main terrain here. gonna select those faces and we're just gonna cut a matching hole in this terrain Just gonna grab these faces because they are now no longer necessary. I'm gonna grab these faces because they are also no longer necessary. Okay, and now we have a big old gap here that might be a tripping hazard, but we're not gonna worry about that because we're gonna extrude that. Actually, gonna leave that like that. Gonna extrude that. I'm gonna select this middle line here. We're just gonna follow that upwards. Okay. Actually, we're not gonna follow that completely upwards. Do this. Okay. And we'll have to make sure that's all. That's all covered up as nicely as it can be. Okay. Okay, we now have this mostly. I still need to just these bits. that stretch that f 
forward. Yeah, okay. Bigger is better in this case. Well, that's feeling quite a bit more, um, yeah, that looks a little more natural as far as a rock formation goes, I think. Uh, mm. See any comments? Any comments? No new comments. Okay. Whew. A second while I turn on the fan. It may be September, but it still feels like the middle of summer. Okay. Now then, that we've done this, let's go back to the age and actually take a look around and make sure that I didn't screw anything up. <sighs> Comment cookies! Yum! <laughs> <sighs> I think the next thing I'll work on after I do this spot check is try to do a water geometry. Which is going to be quite okay, I need to work on this a bit more. Actually, no, I was going to work on the top of the towers, yeah. Just make the bridges feel more concrete. Collisions locked off. Can I climb this? How much height can I get off of this? Honestly, too much height. I can get way too much height off of that. I can get way too much height off of that. Here's where water is going to come around here. see here. Can I get up here? Don't even need to jump for this part. The irony is this is the, the, the Destiny Huru client here. This is perfectly viable climbing for a skydiver. Wow, okay, um, this is the, with the, the upcoming physics, so, wow, yeah, okay, this is entirely cheatable, wow, okay. This is, this is, wow, okay. Um, maybe I need to deselect the terrain. That probably won't help any. Can I get to all the way to the top on this? 
can I get all the way to the top on this? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well! So much for making that unclimbable! Let me just grab a Virtus here real quick and drag that out and up and make that a little more starkly 90 degrees. If they can get, if anyone can get past that then, then... Uh, Yeah. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Oh, and look, I can just skate on down the side of this. Oh, now I'm falling. Now I'm falling. I do not panic. That is a survivable fall, especially because you're probably going to land in water. Well. Yeah, okay, that was not at all what I was expecting to happen there. Well, oh, 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 and here's the other tower. But honestly, if someone's taking the time to try and climb these things <laughs> and sequence break, I mean... I guess power to them, but it's not at all what I want to be happening here. It is steep enough that I can literally stop moving and I'm not sliding down the cliff. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I'm probably just gonna leave this. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. I, I, I might as well just leave this for the experienced skydivers to figure out because, um, This was not an intentional skydive climb. I'm just going to say this. This was not an intentional skydive climb. So the fact that I'm able to scale the side of this is... Well, I'm just going to say people can explore all they want, but there's going to be a fixed order to solving this age. So it doesn't matter if they sequence break, I guess. And here we are. Yep. That's totally climbable. And what does it matter? Because they're all connected anyways. Ah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? 
do? Um... You know what? What we haven't done, we haven't gone exploring these tunnels yet. After we did all of our resizing and cutting and all that. Let's go explore these tunnels real quick and give them a thorough spot check. Yeah, I'm I'm just astonished that that happened. But uh, as astonished I am that it happened, I am not surprised and I think I'm just going to have to live with it for the moment at least. Ooh. Big wide open space and if you're not careful, I bet it's going to Come on, where is the other wall? Any minute now. Any minute now. Where's the other wall? Where is it? I know there's going to be another wall coming up. Oh, yep. There it is. There it is. If you're not paying attention and you just go down that way, you'll... Get caught off on a branching path. Okay, I like that. That will come back to that in a minute. Maybe. The main... Good part about how I designed this section, though, is that you can't really backtrack through it too much. So even if you can get on the bridge and come around this way, when we get to the point where there's a sheer drop-off, you can't really get up it, ideally. So we'll see if I have any issues with climbing in there, and if so, I need to really rework things. Ah! have a roof over me at this point? I, I, I honestly don't remember what I modeled over here. Do I have a roof above me? I'm gonna need to do something to really spice up this terrain because it's a really kind of monotonous and there's not really much to do. Oh. More dead end paths maybe I guess? Maybe some wrong way signs. Okay, this is narrowing. I think we're getting to the point where I have a roof over me. Never. Drop down. Boy, though, isn't this just <laughs> monotonous and gray and it's... There's going to need to be something in this area that I got to do to liven it up. Of course, we're still in the, the roughing phase, but... Yeah, I really need to do something to make this whole area a whole lot more visually interesting. What? What happened here? What happened here? What the heck happened here? Well, that's a good thing I went through this and explored it. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll probably just put some rocks in. So we followed along. Aha! 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 Tab. Yep. Okay. I accidentally deleted that face. Woo! 
there we go. And yes, we did have a roof over us for quite a while. <coughs> so what that means is... The fact I didn't notice there was a roof above me, the only way you're going to know there's no roof is because the rain's going to stop. Okay. Now the next best question is... Am I going to be able to tell there's something above me if I just start running at the wall and climbing up it? Nope. You are perfectly straight. Perfect. Means I might have done this section correctly and there's no upwards climbing to be had. Yeah. What this means, I think, is I have done a decently good job of obs- Yeah, with the fog, you can't even tell there's anything above us. There's no ceiling, you just be- Yeah, 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 I like that. We can tell there's a hard edge there where the fog is doing something weird. Oh, ah, I'm on. Yep. Okay. I think I have done a good job of keeping this area unclimbable. Okay. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay. But yeah, big wide open space gonna have to add lots of interesting and varied things to... Yeah. Oop, and here's the other wall, finally. And... People get a glimpse of the ceiling. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Can I climb up this vertical space where the two walls meet? start to see that there's something up here. Up. 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 Yep. It's always where there's two walls meaning that you can find a collision to climb up, it seems. So the question is going to be, what do I do about it? I'm pretty sure that somebody eventually is going to try climbing up this mess. This age might as well be called the Skydiver's Paradise, I think. What do you guys think? It's, I think... <laughs> yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I think people are going to like this age for the climbing. Oh, what did I get myself into with this? I mean, the sheer verticality, though, is like... This is like, wow, you know? This is... This is like the old collision climbs that we had um, really early on. Where things were just really grippy for some reason.
My question is, is how high up is this dang thing? How high up did I make this? How high up did I make this? Anybody who's doing the climbing in this section is going to be just... You know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm going to assume that it's totally climbable all the way to the... Oh! 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 <laughs> you can... You, you'll probably be able to climb all the way to the... All the way to the ceiling. Oh! That's a... You know what? I I'm, I'm, I'm think I'm going to leave that... Question is, is where the heck does the... Where the heck is the actual end of the... Okay, let's go up here, go up here, go up here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's... Ooh. Is this it? This is it! <laughs> Okay, um, that is a very long way to climb, which means I think this is probably going to be a panic link fall. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, yep. Okay, that fall is not survivable. I'm going to need to add a new challenge in there to make it survivable because I completely built that whole back section out of scale. So. Okay. On the plus side, I don't think people are going to realize there's a lit lip there for, um, right away. So, tab. I'm going to create a cube. Tab scale. Okay. Avatar Dummy Let's get an avatar all the way over here Oh um, um Okay, yeah, what the heck was I thinking in here? Look at how tiny he is! Look at how tiny he is! Oh, no. <coughs> I... People are going to hate this age and they're going to love it at the same time. I can already tell. <sighs> okay. Okay. I think I know what I'm doing next. Uh... Okay. This is going to be shelf proxy... This goes in the southward tunnels. We're going to have to give you <sighs> collision. What's a texture? Hewn rock 001. Hewn rock 001. Tab. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter how we're going to texture it because we're going to retexture it again later anyway. So. Okay. 
I guess we're doing the old borrow puzzle. Oh, boy. You know, I wanted to do a puzzle like this. I just never thought I'd be doing a puzzle like this in this kind of situation. <clears throat> so, yeah, you're going to have to try to find a place where to drop down. I'm basically just going to have to make it as close to the edge here as possible. <clears throat> Pull this in. Yep. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to... Stretch that out, and stretch it back, and So, I'm going to have to give players a, whew, oh boy, this was not at all how I intended to do this particular puzzle. I had a whole idea of how to do this puzzle, and <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, okay, this is going to be, um, so, um, there is, this, this is going to be me trying to, uh, talk around a thing, and this is going to be Spear Foxy, Southwood Tunnels Plasma Object, Collision, Try Collision. Um, so in the intangibles, there was a, an age design that Cyan never really, um, But Cyan never really completely designed. Uh, well, I mean, they completely blocked out everything. But the problem was is that Cyan never um, <clears throat> completed the age beyond that. So there isn't really much to it beyond a bunch of jumping puzzles and some other nonsense. Um... Anyway, my point is, is, um, my point is, is that, uh, I am literally just about to take, um, that exact puzzle, and I'm just gonna have to recreate it, basically, <laughs> bit by bit, point by point, trying to, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, um, I inadvertently spiral-aged. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna roughly hew in these, um, we're just gonna have to roughly hew in a whole set of spikes here, because, yeah. <sighs> I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this. Oh, okay. Duplicate. Duplicate. Yep, there we go. Yep. Do I have anything else on me? Nope. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah.
So yeah, we're just gonna have to um, <clears throat> pray that I can come up with a design here that is actually functionally jumpable. <coughs> and to save myself time, create empty spawn point link in point spiral bridge puzzle quick jump <clears throat> this spawn point will probably I don't know I don't know but I am giving myself a quick access to the puzzle so that way uh yeah so that way I can test it easily enough yeah that'll do okay because yeah that was a long way to run and that would be a long way to fly so yeah spawn point Yeah, we're just going to, um, <clears throat> give ourselves stairs, I guess. <clears throat> and if I'm lucky... Okay, I think enough stairs down is enough of a challenge there. Then we will create a cylinder. Tap scale that up. This will be our spiral puzzle. Middle platform. Get you roughly in a place. I think that will be jumpable to <coughs> scale, patient scale, tab. Just grab sections here. Rough it up a bunch. Yay! That's <clears throat> now. Vaguely a giant spear in the middle of a room. Let's get rid of the bottom face there. T. And then I'm going to use a tool we have not used before. I'm going to hit randomize vertex a bunch of times. I'm going to hit smooth. Whoa. That, uh, mm, hmm. 
Well, okay then. This is why using the randomize and smooth vertex tool can be, uh, challenging at the best of times, because that, uh, well, it looks completely random, and even though I hit randomize and smooth, it, uh, yeah, it got me a very organic looking shape, I think. Not the scale I want, but I will, um... I will deal with that. For the moment... Gonna have to adjust some fake vertexes here. Let's see here. Yep. And then for uh all of these little points down here. I'm just gonna grab them and pull them upwards and actually yeah this is still gonna be our central Spire Rock. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab all of these vertices around the edge, extrude, and no, 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 medium point. Scale them outward, extrude downwards, scale them outwards, there we go. Yeah. That'll do. Okay, rotation and scale, add collision, triangle mesh. Okay. Before I get any more spire happy, let's export our age and check out what I did. So yeah, um, this, what was, what started as a big fun idea to be a drop down from the ceiling, um, turned into, um, now it's a jumping puzzle. Uh, sometimes you just gotta go with the flow of the age, um, but also bring in a dummy avatar to make sure that the idea you had in mind is to scale with what you've done. It's, oh. Yeah, this age is going to be uh, quite quite interesting, to say the least, I'll say. Okay. Avatar spawn next. Whee! So the Python... The console command avatar spawn next is certainly a useful one. Wow! And now we're all the way on the other side of the age. Wow. That was a long ride. And once again, scale is my enemy here because it's so much wider on that side 
the side than it. This is so much wider than it needs to be. This is so much wider than it needs to be. I could hide so much stuff down here. It would spook people. Are we even at the other? Okay, we're starting to get into the view visual range of it. Oh, well, that answers a whole bunch of questions, but the first one of which is, no, those are not in range of each other, and they are all inverted cubes. Well, you're not. Yep, my back face calling flag bit me in the butt. Okay, that's that fixed. And now I'm going to... Probably immediately need to redo that all over again. RZ90. Yep, there we go. If we're gonna start doing this jumping thing, we might as well start doing it from this end. going to do a whole lot of rescaling because this is yep This is, these are probably going to require their own textures, which I will figure out later, I guess. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to assume that beyond a certain point, dropping down from up there is probably going to result in a panic link. Probably. Ah. 
Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Let's try this again. Test stage. Ah. This is definitely going to be trying for some players, that is for sure. Oh boy. Avatar spawn next. Okay. Well, this looks a little more promising. Yeah, okay, that jump works. Hup. Okay. Let's hope I didn't make that too far down. You know what? I'll take it. And I did a dummy and made this too low for this. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this now. I think this is... Okay, yep, okay. Ay, caramba, this is gonna be, uh... <laughs> oh, some players are...
give the players a chance for a couple different paths here. confuse things a bit, but probably for the best. Okay. Well then, where's the new lowest point? Would be... Okay, you are about there. Lower you to there. Yeah, I don't know how much, how much how much of a fall distance people are gonna have on this. But if I'm lucky. I'm lucky about how I do this. I might be able to just Yeah. Okay, so there's going to be one quick path down is what I'm making right here. And uh, well, I say quick, but a path down to the ground. But then I'm going to I think what I'm going to do is I'm also just going to keep doing the spires along the upper cliff here. And that way if players are miss the obvious path down, they'll have a path along the outside edges, and this way it'll feel a little more, uh, natural, I think. Duplicate. Yep. That should feel a little more natural to just, uh, Just keep climbing down. No, 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 no. Undo that. I like that. I like that. And then because I'm a little psychotic like that, let's just... 
goes out on the x-axis. There. Put a crossbar there. And then we'll just do the same thing over here. Yeah, the whole, I think this, this, this week, the, uh, ooh, actually, hold on, I got an idea for this. G. Yeah, I think I will texture the inside of this cave kind of like a geode. With all the spiky bits everywhere. Too caught up in that. And that'll, <laughs> I don't mean to be mean, but that'll block that uh, little climb up there, I think. If I have that pull in the way. Okay, now then, I think what I'll do is I will you stretch 
shit out of it to give it that. Oh. Give it that kind of old timey geody vibe. this and extrude it out. Yay, now that doesn't look so much like the thing I just copy-pasted. These, I don't think we'll need collision. These are just going to be kind of decorative up there. Yeah, this will give it some very nice, interesting visual uh, texture in these this area, I think. Yeah. I should. Now, if I've done everything right, that should be my complete path down. I'm going to test the age again and a BRB real quick to get some water.
And back. Okay. As I thought, those uh, spires I put above are too high to be seen. Scale those up a bit in the blend file and lower them a bit. And that means hopefully they will be visible in the age when I come through on the next blend. Fog really makes this place hard to see, doesn't it? Another giant rock spire. I'll have to make these geode crystal textures later. Okay. Oof. Okay, we're getting progress. Where do I go? It's a little too hard to see out there. I might need to add one more intermediary. Okay, this is going to be the one that's tricky. I think I might have made this one too far away. Too far! But that gets you to the ground. just inside the six second mark. The player is not going to know that. <sighs> Indeed, the player is not going to know that there's something to catch them.
that should give folks some indication there's something down there to aim for. And then give them an alternate path that they may choose to use. I feel like this doing pretty well. I think I'm nearing a point I should probably take a break. I'm gonna export this one more time. And then I think we will stop it here for this stream because it's about two hours, 30 minutes. And that's about a good, about our average runtime on these so far. Yeah, I need to get, <coughs> I need to get food in me too. Um, but yeah, this has turned into a very uh, interesting concept of a chamber for the age now, isn't it? Um, we've got a big giant uh, geode of some sort that's in here. And... Oh. Well. 
Okay, avatar spawn next. If I look up, do I see anything? Nope, still don't see anything up there. Unintended, but I will live up. I will take that. Yep. This is like taking all the best and worst parts of the Kadish pole vault climb and merging it all into one. I think. Oh yeah, look at that. We've got we've got structural bits here all over the place. That gives you the sense of feeling that you're at the corner. We jump down here. And I see don't exactly need that pole. Okay, we're almost. Huh? No, 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 no! Okay, I'm just gonna pretend that I made that. I'm just gonna pretend that I made that and quickly nudge that rock over. That was. That was, that was, that was. This one, so I'm gonna tilt that slightly more that way. Control A, rotation, yep. Then that way that should be, okay, yep. I'll jump, Ugh. Got another rock spire. here and that's pretty much our only obvious way to go bow 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 all right i can't reach that from here i do have to go through this is really kind of fun to, like, um, it's like, it's a maze of its own. It's like a maze of, it's like a navigational maze that you have to figure out what you're doing. Of course, you have, it would be mean of me to hide something with marker coordinates up in here. It would be totally mean of me to find, hide something with marker coordinates. <laughs> oh... I may do that, I may not, we will see. Okay. Like, is this right way? We're going up now. I don't think that rock is attached to, nope. That rock is not attached to anything. It's the floor! Yay! 
Okay, uh, let me moment go fix that one that wasn't connected. Oh, both of those weren't connected. Whoopsie. Boop. Eep. Boop. Eep. Um. I'll just give one more comfort block here. Okay. Not that you need it, but I'm going to add one more just in case people don't want to take that jump. And... Okay, yeah, now we are on the floor. And the floor that is very, very plain. And... Yeesh, we are going to need to add... A lot of terrain down here so people don't get lost. But that is what this geode texturing thing is going to be about, I guess. So yeah, okay. Um, I think I am going to... Call it, I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna call this for the day, and uh, we will. S I will see you all. Um. The next chance I get. Who knows when that will be. Probably next Friday. Yeah, um... Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this stream. And I will see you guys when I see ya. Bye!